fallout over a campaign ad in Nassau County. In the ad, the face of Democratic Nassau County legislator is manipulated to appear deformed, and Democrats are calling it anti-Semitic and an attack on his religion. Republicans say they didn't even know he was Jewish. His Long Island reporter, Shante Lands. This campaign ad image of Democratic Nassau County legislator Josh Lafazan is now front and center at a press conference in Plainview, called on by Lafazan, condemning it as anti-Semitic, calling it an attack on his religion and the entire Jewish community. He compares his picture to a propaganda flyer used just before the Holocaust. The widening of the nose, the yellowing of the teeth, the horns, this type of deforming of my face has been used on mailer after mailer, on advertisement after advertisement. This is not a one-off. Izzy Weisfelner of Woodbury, whose parents survived the Holocaust, says the flyer of Lafazan is disturbing. Sick to my stomach. I am unapologetic when I say to my opponent and to the Nassau County Republican Party, shame on you and apologize now and let us know this will never happen again. I reached out to the Nassau County Republican Party, who says this has happened before by the Nassau Democrats. A Nassau GOP rep released this image posted on the town of Oyster Bay Democrat Committee's Facebook page, showing a pig with a swastika on its rear as an emblem of the Republican Party. Meanwhile, Josh Lafazan's picture has been used in campaign ads for the past five months. With the general election just days away, I asked him, about the timing of this press conference. If you look at the, the mail that we send and my Facebook ads, we've been calling this out as defamatory, as gross, as lies. One thing that both Democrats and Republicans can agree on is that anti-Semitic images are unacceptable. It is all based on fear and anger and hatred. Now keep in mind, all of this is happening just days ahead of the November general election, which is exactly one week from today.